Hi guys, this is Martin once again today with another unboxing. More like a re-unboxing because this box has already been opened, but uh, that's not going to stop us from unboxing it anyway. So without uh, wasting time, let's get into it. This is the GTEL A727 Infinity Pro. Now you saw the last time we unboxed the Infinity Light and we actually did a review so you can go to the channel and check that out. But uh, this is the Pro and uh, as the box suggests, it's an orange box which suggests that it's another mid-range device from GTEL. All the mid-range devices come in uh, orange boxes and uh, the premium devices come in white boxes by the way. So yeah, we want to thank the guys at GTEL for giving us this device to review. So without wasting time, let's get into it. This device comes with an 8 gig SD card and uh, this is what the device looks like. But this is the golden variant of the of the Infinity Pro. Uh, yes, so this phone features a 5.5 inch AMOLED display. Um, it's running on Lollipop. It has a 13 megapixel rear camera. Uh, it's a dual SIM device. This is a 4G LTE device, by the way. It has a 3150 mAh battery, that's huge, and an octa-core 1.3 GHz processor, 16 gigs of ROM and 2 gigs of RAM. Imagine, a few years ago this would have been a flagship phone, but uh, in 2016 I guess it just doesn't cut it anymore. On the other side uh, we see the same thing, just more specs. Let's uh, open the box. First thing that you see is obviously the device itself. Like I said, this one comes in gold. This is the gold variant of the device. Okay. Nice. Gold. This is for the fashionistas. <laughs> yeah, okay, so let's just put that by the side. Right, there's a 15 month warranty as is standard with all GTEL devices. Yeah. There's an uh, Infinity Pro. Um, this is a user guide for the device. Yes, it's a user guide. Yeah, I'm not gonna read right now. Yeah, the good thing about this phone is that it actually comes with the, with the protective case. Let's just see what that looks like. Okay, all right, it's uh, gold also. Okay, it's got this rubbery texture too, so I guess you place your phone there, in which you will demonstrate it in a bit. So without wasting time, let's just put that by the side also and see what else is in here. It comes with the USB type C connector, as you can see. See what else is in here. All right, a pair of earbuds. Very nice looking earbuds. The metallic finish. Somewhere here. I like it. They actually look a bit premium, but just like I said, this is a mid range device. So I guess manufacturers have to do more these days. Um, yeah, a three pin USB wall plug. Yeah, we've opened a couple of these. It's a basic 3-pin USB wall plug. All right. And lastly, there's uh, what is this? Okay, there's nothing left here. There's uh, an Infinity Pro. I'm sure this is a protective film, yes. Now, let's, let's just open that and see what that's all about. All right. Oh, okay. There's the a protective film for your phone. There's a, a squeegee or cleaning cloth for your device or cleaning up your device. That's nice. And yeah, nothing else. Okay, so that's it guys. This is what you get in the box. So let's just get the phone back in view. Wow, it's a very nice looking device, very thin. Okay, now the phone is just weighing over a mere 158 grams. Okay, very slim as you can see. I like the golden touch. Actually makes everything look very nice. Okay, so we're just powering on the phone for the first time. 
Okay, whilst we're here, I think we can, we might as well just remove this, uh, okay. Okay, wait for it. Ah, that felt good. Okay, so now we want to power this phone on for the first time. Uh, yes, we want English. Skip, we're going to put SIM cards later. Okay, skip that for now. Yeah, skip anyway. Harari, yep, yeah, I mean Harari. Nice. Um, yeah, I know skip my name. Skip again. Yes, yeah, skip anyway. Next. Okay. Wow. So there's the phone all ready to go, set up and ready to go. It's running on uh, Lollipop. Um, but this is the couch here. We'll just verify that for you. All right. Yes. It's running on Lollipop. Okay. 2 gigs of RAM and an octa-core processor. Test out this case and see how it works on this device. Okay. Alright. Alright. Very nice. As you can see, the case is already calibrated, the phone, that's why you get that. So. Wow, that's a pretty nice touch. You flip open. Nice. Okay, but uh, personally, I'm not a case person. <laughs> so I'm just going to take that out anyway. So yeah, that's that's it, guys. Um, I'm just going to play around with this phone for a bit and uh, yeah, and see what it's like. But first impressions, um, I like it. I think it's a... Uh, very nice one, but it's 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 a huge phone because I've got huge hands, a 5.5 inch display. I've got huge hands, but yeah, I, th I think I can if I stretch it out. I think I can use this phone with one hand, but uh, it's going to be a mission. But yeah, guys, that's the phone. Yeah, and uh, let's just take a quick tour before I just leave. Yeah, so yeah, on the front there's uh, there's some sensors here, a front facing camera, a um, uh, speaker grill. On the bottom, yeah, there are capacitative buttons built into the body. But I, I like the way they made uh, that place black also. It's more like, it acts like it's part of the screen, but it's not. On the side, there's a volume up, up and down keys, the power button. This is metallic. This part is metallic. But uh, you can remove this cover. This is a replaceable cover. This is the 13 megapixel rear camera. An LED flash, GTL branding. Let's see if we can just pry this phone open so that you see that uh, monster 3150 milliamp hour battery. Yeah, check it out. Wow. That is a huge battery, that. Wow. Yes, 3150 milliamp hours. That is huge. Um, yeah, so wait for the full review. I'm going to tell you more about this device. Let me play around with it a bit. This one is in blue, as you can see. This one is blue, same device really. I don't know now which do you prefer. Do you want the gold one or the blue one? Personally, I think I, I like them both. So it's going to be difficult for me. So yeah, that's it. Uh, that's it, people. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for the full review where we will actually taste these babies out and tell you what we feel about them. If you enjoyed this video, please press the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. This is Mustin for nerdcreed.com. See you in the next video.